And bright and early this morning, some of the first races in the BMW Dallas Marathon started in front of Dallas City Hall. And so far, nearly 10,000 runners have taken part. Kennedy Walker was there to see it all take place. It's been a party here in downtown Dallas. Thousands of excited runners have been participating in this 5 and 10K race. And they all say that they're even more excited for the big marathon tomorrow. This morning, thousands of athletes ran through the city of Dallas for the 50th anniversary of the BMW Dallas Marathon. We're so excited. We we're best friends, and it's our first time here at the race, so we're so excited to start a new tradition. Those that didn't run cheered from the sidelines. Last year's had to be postponed because of the pandemic, and runners say they're elated to be back doing what they love. It's uh, really good to be back with people and running in a crowd, and um, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. It's a, you feel the energy. People from all over the world participated, young and old, and some even brought their four-legged running partners. And while some just ran for fun, this family ran for a cause. We're ready for Kevin. Their loved one passed away from frontotemporal dementia, a disease that affects the brain. It feels amazing, you know, just bringing awareness to the cause, um, just making people more aware of frontotemporal dementia. And um, hopefully finding a cure. Sunday will be the full half and ultra marathons. Runners say they're already looking forward to next year's. In Dallas, Kennedy Walker, CBS 11 News. Yeah, so many stories always come out of the marathon and all the races leading up, but the big race takes place tomorrow. And take a look. This is the route that it's going to take place on. So it goes all the way from downtown Dallas, right in front of City Hall, where the start finish line is. Heads up towards 35E, then up Turtle Creek Boulevard through kind of the University Park area over towards 75, just south of Mockingbird Lane. And then that's when it heads over to White Rock Lake. And at that point, it circles the lake, comes back towards Deep Ellum, and then enters downtown Dallas. Most of the roadways that are significantly impacted will close starting at midnight tonight and then will last until around 3 o'clock tomorrow. But all the side streets, expect those to be more of like temporary closures. They'll be closed while groups of runners are going through, but you will still be able to have access through those areas.